And Mr. Vincent, I just want to congratulate you on Centigrade. It is harrowing, but also very emotional. So I was like, what the heck? <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I'm so happy you enjoyed it, or it sounds like you enjoyed it. Uh, I, you know, yeah. I did. I enjoyed it. So take us from the very beginning, though. What got you interested in freezing in Centigrade? <laughs> Well, Manny, the, the kind of great thing is that when Brendan approached uh, us to do this movie uh, or tell this story, it was um, the simplicity of it is what really I grabbed onto as an actor to be able to shoot a story in sequence, to be able to take a journey with the characters to uh, and his vision for it. Brendan Walsh, our director, had a vision that was very clear. Yeah, he, he bought two cars, he cut them in different ways. So he and his DP, Seamus Tierney, can move the camera in interesting ways. And he parked us in an ice cream freezer where he was able to modulate the temperature and, uh, and get it colder when he wanted to, uh, to torture us further. So it was a really exciting experience as an actor um, to go on that kind of a journey. And to work with Genesis was equally awesome. She was, um, she's such a pro really dove into the work to try and get the characters and the relationship to feel really lived in so we can hopefully arrive at an emotional payoff uh so we can um you know really uh get in with these uh with this couple in these incredibly um as you said harrowing circumstances um i think that's right on the film's simplicity, and, and you said it uh, really well, the simplicity of the movie is what makes it thrilling for me. I, it's so simple, right? A pregnant couple gets stranded in the snow. How are they going to get out? Right, right. And to me, the, you know, these are the, the, the movies like what, you know, as an actor, when you, you, you go for film and TV, you, you know, you, you hope for, for opportunities like this where you can really kind of invest um, emotionally, wholly um, with yourself into these stories. And... Um, and get to these, uh, and, and, and the thing I appreciated about it is these modern people uh, are suddenly brought into very primal circumstances. And right. we get to see uh, the layers kind of peel back um, on these people um, and their relationship. And, uh, uh, you know, I think it was, a, it was a real lucky thing for me as an actor to be a part of. Well, the movie makes it a point to show that Matt is optimistic while Naomi is defeatist. And at times of crisis, would, what do you think we should lean on? Being an optimist or defeatist, a realist? Well, that's interesting. I mean, maybe, um, maybe we need both, you know? I mean, I, I think in some ways we're going through it right now. We have these two conflicting ideologies about how to get through our collective crisis right now. And, uh, you know, I just wish the dialogue could happen better you know what i mean i just wish uh you know these things can we can maybe meet a little more on our ideas and our fears and the challenges uh that we have to face together and that's to me the moralistically was the more uh the uh, the 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 story is that you know the coming together and suddenly um what's important is revealed um the future life what we go on for uh, i thought um um, uh, it was a, a really um, beautiful message, uh, a poetic message from, from Brendan and Daley Nixon when they put the story together and Bradley Ross, who's also very much involved in it. And uh, 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 yeah, and, and, and in a way I feel, you know, I, I would never want a pandemic, but the fact that we're in one, I feel it creates more resonance for the story in some ways. That's right. That's right. Now, one last quick question. To me, it's a one-act play with two characters study. And it won't work if it's not for your chemistry with Genesis Rodriguez. How was it working with her? It's great. I mean, she's a pro. She was always prepared. She worked so hard. She took, she paid a hefty price, you know, with all the dieting and, and things, uh, you know, that she had gone through, you know, and I did as well. But she really, um, she went after it um and grabbed it with both hands and i admire that and um yeah it was just a great and presence you know just to again like to be in a car where you're you know crammed in with someone and to have presence uh was such a was such a cool thing she was terrific right well acted well directed congrats again it's one of those films that forces you to ask yourself what would you do you know i i probably will just freeze to death <laughs> Manny, in reality, I'd probably freeze with you. We're done. <laughs> you and I are done if that happens. Well, thank uh, you so much again, Mr. Vincent. Good luck on everything, okay? Manny, a joy. Thank you so much for your time. Bye-bye. <laughs>